Ah, greetings fellow Trekkies and Trekkers. Well, I'm back from my vacation week, so let's get right back into looking at Season 1 Deep Space Nine with Move Along Home. Deep Space Nine has the distinction of making first contact with a Gamma Quadrant species known as the Wadi. However, the Wadi should no interest in formalities and head straight to Quarks. The Ferengi initially sees the Wadi as a potential source of great profit, but when the Wadi Master <clears throat> Dabo and go on a winning streak, he has one of his waiters rig the game. The Wadi catch him and force Quark to play an honest game called Chula. Meanwhile, Commander Sisko, Dr. Bashir, Major Kira, and Lieutenant Dax find themselves in an abstract, dreamlike world. One of the Wadi appears and cheerfully yells, Move along! Move along home! They are faced with several puzzles, including a simple yet alien version of the human game Hopscotch. As Quark continues to play the game, Odo finds the four senior officers missing, and Quark comes to realize that they are part of the game he is playing. Dun dun dun! Later on in the game, Bashir's piece is removed from the game, and it disappears from the maze. Quark is then faced with a choice between the shorter, more difficult path, or a longer, easier one for his remaining players. He chooses the shortcut, and when Constable Odo objects, he explains that with risk to his players involved in every move, advancing them home as soon as possible is the wiser choice. <clears throat> Ultimately, Quark chooses the shorter path for the officers. However, the next result of his However, the result of his next scroll forced him to sacrifice one of his players. Quark begs the Wadi not to make him choose, so they make the game choose at random. Sisko, Kira, and Dex are faced with scaling a mountain during a violent earthquake, and Dex's legs become stuck between two rocks. Although she tells Sisko to leave her behind, Kira and Kira help her walk across the ledge on the rock face. <coughs> however, that they, they slip, however, and the three of them fall into the abyss, only to rematerialize in Quark's, along with Bashir. Quark is elated and begins to collect his winnings, but the Wadi explains that all his players were lost. The crew was never in any real danger. It's only a game, he laughs. Yeah, it's a game to you, but not to Quark. As Sisko is about to angrily confront the Wadi over what they have experienced, Odo, Odo interrupts and tells him that he would do better to talk with Quark first about certain confessions that were made while the game was in progress. The Wadi depart as Sisko turns his attentions to Quark. Mm hmm. So, I'll probably say this episode is just kind of. Eh, it's not really one of the best of the first season. So, yeah. Of course, hey, every first season does have that kind of mediocre meh episode anyway. <clears throat> so, overall. <clears throat> sorry. So, overall, I give. Move along home. Two warp cores out of five. Well, tune in in a little bit as we take a look at the Nagus. So, until then, live long and prosper, everybody.